Day YouTube, J Thomas1310. Thanks for joining me on my motorbike. I was out on the R3 yet again, just heading off to go and get a few things from Bunnings. I was intending on going out for a, a bit of a good ride today, or over this weekend actually, but it just hasn't happened that way. It's been a fuck couple of days and just had so much shit on. So I just thought, stuff it, I've got to go and get a few things, I'm going to do it on the bike. I'm just hoping I can fit the shit into my backpack. I can dressed up all, all fucking mega daggy. Look like a daggy dad and the shit I'm wearing, you know, the fucking clothes I've had for, I don't know, since I was fucking probably 15 years old, <laughs> actually, and the shit still fits me and hasn't worn out. And fucking old, old fucking trackies I wore to school and then made me fox, fox shirt they used to wear when I used to ride dirt bikes around as a teenager, so, so just wearing all the crappy stuff, but don't give two shits out on the bike, going and getting a few things that's good. I need it just to, that little ride just unwind a bit too, so it's fucking, jeez mate. Fucking idiots. That's been happening so much lately, fucking slow traffic, cunts pulling out fucking everywhere. There's this fucking absolute crazy on the roads. Fucking going two minutes down the road and you need to get fucking taken out. Just, you know, I've been sitting at intersections and there's this fucking non stop traffic coming like this, and all of a sudden the cunt next to me will just go with that same fucking gap. You know, just absolutely crazy. They just don't give two shits at the moment. And they've been stuck behind that many slow people on the way to work. You know, I kid you not, one old duck, I've been stuck behind her a couple of times over the last few years. She stops at every fucking intersecting road to let cunts through. Like where we just, that intersection there went through, she would stop. Just all of a sudden hit the skids and <laughs> let people through. And people would be turning across lanes and going they're not meant to and they're just that confused and some aren't going because they're like, hey, I'm not meant to go. And then they go anyway. And then someone else is going and they shouldn't have been and so they near hit each other she's just causing that much fucking issue and she gets going 20 k's in a 60 zone just putting along sometimes in the middle of two lanes it's like jeez you know I, once i did actually put in a complaint about her driving you know because she actually near swiped my car one time when we we're going you know she just play out straight for a roundabout, won't stay in the lanes, but yeah, it's just a, a bit of a pain in the ass when you know, normally a five minute ride to work would be, you know, turns into 20 minutes because you get stuck behind some idiot and near causes that many accidents on the way, and it should be best to hand a license in, but um, with my daggy wearing gear it's actually a nice nice warm day we're starting to get into spring now so it's um i've just decided to wear you know the daggy or shit normally i probably would have just wore a single or a t-shirt but a little bit fresh still so i didn't did not for that but um not fully squidding so i did at least remember to put my gloves on i'm pretty bad for that but i'm actually going to be looking at getting some skins i'm not sure if anyone else wears skins under their gear so getting the summer I, it's good to get out and have a good crash on the bike so I like to wear levers in case of, you know I do stack it but um it's just too hot and then you're constantly having to clean and deal with your levers you already do it as it is but you know, when it's full of sweat it's, it's just a real pain in the ass to try and have to deal with especially if you've just been out for a ride and you want to go out the next day and the thing's still fucking wet and stinks and so I've been suggested that probably wear skins, so I'm going to look at doing that and wear that under the gear. I'm hoping that'll do all right. So otherwise, I'm always too bloody tempted just for a quick ride, you know, to wear light shit and squid it a bit. And you know, I do like wearing the levers, and you look good, and it's the extra safety. But you know, I will opt for something else. You know, just a friggin' shirt and trousers just to go out, but that's not a real good idea. So um, let me know what you think, you know, if, if you wear skins or if you know someone who wears them and 
and if it does make a difference or if you've got any other tips to make sure you're not stinking when you've got your gear on but I'm also um, probably going to be doing a few vlogs that mightn't be on the bike I've been suggested for a few ideas of different things if there's any topics that you want me to do you know, random shit or you know, just rant about something I don't even fucking know about you know, I'd be happy to do that you know, throw me a message put a comment so I'm um, look at doing a few different videos soon. I'm gonna try and fucking find a park here at Bunnings and here we go. Get me a bit of shit. So thanks for joining me if you're riding out there. Be sure to stay safe and keep the rubber side down.